Cars on the Road, released in September of 2022, is the latest series of shorts that take place in the world of cars. It follows Toe Mater and Lightning McQueen as they take a road trip to get to Mater's sister's wedding. And along the way, they have a bunch of silly adventures. It is the most insane piece of Cars media I've ever seen, but that's not what I want to talk about with this video. Instead, I want to explore the pseudo-character study that seems to be going on with Mater and Lightning as they go on this road trip. Because I find it pretty interesting, but also, it makes me a little angry. We'll start with Lightning. The focus, from Lightning's side of things, seems to be about fear. It doesn't really do anything with it, but Lightning is generally scared a lot. Specifically in three episodes. In Lights Out, he's hounded by ghosts, and the only reason he's not scared of them by the end of the episode is because he doesn't think it was real. It was, and he should still be scared. In The Legend, he's scared because he's alone in the middle of a dark forest where there's apparently a monster, the car's equivalent of Bigfoot. And then he sees it chasing him, which is frankly terrifying. Turns out it was just a monster truck, not a monster, so that's fine, I guess. Then, in Showtime, it's revealed that Lightning is afraid of clowns, and frankly, some of the shots in that episode might make some of the kids watching follow suit. This is not resolved. So what's this about? Clearly, fear is a theme for Lightning, at least in the first half of the series, but also, none of it amounts to anything. Instead, it seems to be more just used as a comedic bit, which is kind of disappointing, especially since what they do with Mater has a bit more heft. Mater's side of things seems to focus more on his insecurities. In the episode Trucks, Mater expresses his desire to be a real truck, not realizing he is a real truck, as the trucks at the truck stop the pair stop at are sure to reveal to him. In Song, in Salt Fever, Mater tries to be a land speed racer because he wants to be able to go faster than lightning. This almost kills him, but he does manage to go faster than lightning ever will, and seems ecstatic about it. And this isn't the only time it's mentioned that Mater feels inadequate compared to lightning. In the episode B movie, Mater tells lightning, You're good at everything. You gotta leave a few leftovers for the rest of us. But that's just incorrect. In the context of B-Movie, the skill is acting. Lightning is terrible at acting, though he expected to be good at it. After all, he's famous and relatively quick-witted, so it makes sense that he would at least have some acting skills. But he can't even do one line right. It's actually pretty impressive. Meanwhile, Mater is apparently just the best at acting. He's so good that the directors keep on giving him bigger and bigger roles and more and more creative control. This feels like a terrible idea, even if it wasn't Mater, and it clearly is, as the movie is never even made, but my issue isn't that. It's more that Mater acts like this is one of his very few skills. While I would argue that Mater is as good at as much as, if not more than Lightning, Mater is extremely charismatic, able to make friends with just about anyone in a very little amount of time, and is great at acting. And, if we consider Cars 2 canon, was an actual spy that stopped an evil plot no one else was able to figure out, and can do all sorts of other nonsense according to the last episode of Cars on the Road. Meanwhile, Lightning is relatively quick-witted, whether that be in coming up with plans or things to say, and can go really fast. His main skill is speed, which, if Cars 3 is any indication, seems to be lessening. He's even pretty pathetic compared to other racers like Cruz Ramirez, Lightning's protege in Cars 3, who shows up in Getting Hitched, the last episode of the series, to reveal that on her off-season, she started a racing school, formed a non-profit that provides snow tires for the lightly treaded, is learning French, and became a certified referee. So clearly Lightning isn't exactly anything special, but that doesn't stop Mater from claiming Lightning is some perfect specimen. Now, in the context of the series, this makes sense, as Mater's insecurities could easily be making him think the people around him, especially his best friend, are these perfectly put-together people. In situations like that, it's easy to forget your own accomplishments and skills and only see the skills of your friends and see that you don't have those skills. So, in that sense, it makes sense what Mater is doing. 
However, there is another option. Mater is just a manipulative bastard. Hear me out. Those of you that have watched my other World of Cars videos know that I hate Mater. Probably more than I should. In my video about Cars 2, I brought up how I thought Mater and Lightning's friendship wasn't the best. Now to be fair, friendships are complicated, and someone looking at someone from the outside can easily misinterpret it, especially if they have some biases towards one of the people in the friendship. However, our adventure starts when Mater tells Lightning that he's going to his sister's wedding, and Lightning suggests that he go with him. Lightning thinks it would be fun to take Mac, Lightning's chauffeur, to the wedding and just chill with Mater on the ride up there. Mater likes the idea of Lightning joining him, but immediately decides that they're doing it road trip style. No Mac, just the two of them driving across the country. Not a bad idea if everyone wants to do that, but there is a bit of an issue. Lightning doesn't seem to have a choice. Mater has decided this, and Lightning just has to go along with it. But Lightning takes it in stride because, hey, Mater's his friend, and maybe it'll be fun. The same could not be said about Mater when Lightning wants to do anything, like visit a dino park, something Lightning happens to be very passionate about. Mater hates this idea and he voices his opinion about it, and is so uninterested he falls asleep while a tour guide talks about dinosaurs. This is after Mater had planned the last three things they did on the trip, and considering what we see in the movies, Mater is always the one planning the adventures they go on. This is even clearer when Mater decides that Lightning gets to pick three out of the first 15 stops on the road trip back. And listen, like I said, friendships are complicated. Sometimes it just happens that in general, one person is the one planning everything in the friendship. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. And it's not necessary that your friends are always interested in the same things you are, and vice versa. That would make it pretty difficult to have any friends and make friendships kind of boring too. And, in Mater's defense, while he does not want to go to the dinosaur park, he does, and he even listens to Lightning ramble about dinosaurs a little bit. So Mater isn't a completely terrible person here, and I'll admit it may just be my bias against him causing me to think he's not a good friend. So instead, let's look at the end of the series again. It's the end of the road trip. They're finally at Mater's sister's wedding, and Lightning is exhausted. He was planning on a nice trip in Mac, and instead he got hounded by ghosts, saw his best friend almost die, got dragged into a Bigfoot hunt, got freaked out by clowns, and almost ended up in the middle of a war of crazy tourists that had gone full Mad Max. So he's excited to not do any of that on the way back, and instead just fly back. I would too, considering. Mater, of course, does not like that idea, but doesn't actually tell Lightning that, because communication is hard, and that's fair, and instead just looks sad, which Lightning obviously doesn't notice because he's too wrapped up in the idea of having a relaxing trip back. This doesn't happen. And instead, Mater's speech at the wedding about you only having one finite life and the importance of spending it with the people you care about convinces Lightning that he should be happy to go on another road trip back with Mater, just so he can have more time and adventures with Mater. This is nonsense. Maybe. Anyone who's been on a long road trip knows that one of the staples of it is the part where the road trip is over and you don't want to see each other ever again, or at least for a couple days. The point of a road trip isn't to enjoy spending time with people, it's to realize how nice it is that you don't have to see these people all the time. Or maybe I'm doing road trips wrong. But here's the thing. By the second to last episode, Road Rumblers, Lightning and Mater are already having nonsense arguments. Seemingly, because they've been around each other, constantly for too long. That squabble is quenched, but it's a good sign that this adventure should probably come to an end sooner rather than later. There's also another detail. Lightning and Mater's interests differ greatly. Sure, Lightning gets inspired by Mater's wedding speech to continue the road trip, but that doesn't remove the feelings of exhaustion he was having before the speech. While Lightning likely enjoys some chaos, or he wouldn't be doing the things we see him do with Mater in the movies, Mater is clearly the one that enjoys chaos more, while Lightning likes to enjoy the comforts of modern life more. 
And there's nothing wrong with that on either side. But the idea that Lightning wouldn't be regretting his decision pretty quickly into the road trip back is laughable. So from what it seems, Lightning is being dragged through life by Mater, who wants to do everything his way. And while Mater is allowed to be upset at not being great at things and almost getting himself killed because of it, Mater has decided that Lightning is not even allowed to feel bad about not being good at something that he would have expected to be good at. Not a great friendship. And I think Cars on the Road really shows that. But also, I'm biased against Mater. 